Hey tribe, hey, welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a channel message for the tribe. So if it resonates, awesome. Appreciate if you subscribe, like, share those who you think it resonate too. I do appreciate you guys for supporting your girl. Let's continue to grow and glow, period, okay? So let's get into the tea, okay, y'all? Any other information you need to know is down below. So guys, I'm going to pull up the lyrics to Free Mind because that's the song I was channeling um the song higher by tim's could be significant as well some of you guys could be um smoking a little bit or going in the higher realms higher conscience you're entering like a higher conscience okay i'm also getting um some about five in the morning maybe some of you guys are waking up five in the morning or you guys need to wake up early to connect with spirit okay to to hear your higher conscience before you start your day okay um i wake up to fight for my earnings so you guys are tired of a job okay i do see a job change because that's what i channel down here as well um the fear in my mind is a warning so something about you are fearful of losing a job or you're feel fearful of some change is actually um a signal or an alert that is actually time for a change or something like that it's something like that i've been watering all day i try to be fine but i can't be so your spirit is fighting for a change your spirit does not want to be in the energy that you're in okay because there's an energy change going on and you have to get in alignment with it okay um the noise in my mind wouldn't leave me i try to get it but i'm burning okay so something about um hell could be significant or you need to burn your old your old ways okay or you're in a low vibration okay some of you guys need to raise your vibration higher to get into the higher conscience to this change okay i really need time now i really need to free my mind some of you guys need to like take a day off or you need to get into nature it's something about freeing your mind your mind you're you're trapped in some type of um conformity okay or in some type of decision or in some type of situation that you're trying to free yourself or your spirit is fighting for you to free yourself from something here <sighs> yeah fighting up to give up my pain fighting to be on my lane yeah stay in your lane at this time okay the enemy is trying to scare you the enemy is trying to make it seem like this change that you're going through is bad all right this is why you're fearful you could be like you could feel a change happening but you're holding yourself back because you've been in a comfortable state you could be a tourist or a cancer and it's like um you're just so used to something so when you see something changing or you feel this energy of change is actually good for you but the enemy wants you to like think it's bad so you don't step out to that change they want you to stay confined the enemy wants you to stay confined into whatever you've been dealing with okay because you were in some type of hermit mode given by god but now God is saying it's time for a change. It's time for you to be released into higher elevation. I feel like you learned a lesson already, but the enemy wants you to think that you did something wrong or that going out to this change is something wrong because they want to keep, keep you stuck, okay? Some of you guys need to break a bad habit, okay? So let's get into it. I have Free Minds by Tim's. You might want to hear that song, okay? Or Higher by Tim's. Um, I have Aligned with Energy Shift. That's what I've written down, okay? Before I even read the lyrics to y'all. So I do feel like this is the main, <clears throat> the main message. Y'all, hold on. Y'all, the enemy do not want me to say what I'm about to say right now. I keep getting choked up and I've been drinking water all day. So I'm not dehydrated. <clears throat> Yo, I rebuked the devil in the name of y'all. I swear no weapon for the kiss me shall prosper. <sighs> You're not a robot, okay? Count your blessings. I'm hearing count your blessings. You're coming out of some type of conformity, okay? Or you already did. And there's a change happening. And this enemy do not want you, like, they want you to stay stuck, okay? They want you to, because once you once you get into this um this new reality, okay, that's been manifested for you, this, these blessings, oh, it's over for the enemy. And they know this, okay? <sighs> somebody could work in a factory. Somebody could go to tech school or somebody work in, like, technology, okay? Somebody could work at Best Buy, all right? Or somebody could be a cashier. I also have meditation, music will help you, your children, and your pets, okay? So put some meditation music, blast it, okay? Put it on a speaker and just let it channel the whole home, okay? 12 o'clock could be significant. I don't know. Something about 12 p.m. I have Lada, Lada. Somebody name could be Lada, Lada. Or somebody say lady a lot. Or you could be like very ladylike, okay? 
or you coming into some type of feminine energy okay even if you're a masculine you're living like your life is about to get really refreshing for you you could be doing a lot of feminine things like getting your nails done getting your hair done it's like on a regular basis maybe this is something you've been manifesting and spirit's about to about to make this happen for you because i feel like um you ready you like spirit can i please just be in my my soft girl era okay and spirit's about to give that to you okay Lada is also a Baltic goddess, and she represents spring, love, and fertility. Some of you guys are about to find out that you're pregnant. Congratulations. Some of you guys are about to fall in love. Okay. The Baltic goddess is actually similar to Freya and the Venus goddess. Okay. Excuse the noise, y'all. Some about children. So some of you guys may have like a little girl. Okay. You about to find out that you about to have a little girl. All right. I'm also hearing being called to accept change in your business, your mindset, and love. Okay, so you're being called to change like your mindset about it. Okay, open your heart to love. Open your heart to expanding. Okay, so expansion is very significant. You could be a Gemini. You could be a Venus. Venus. <laughs> Some about Gemini could be in your Venus, or you could be a Taurus or a Libra. Okay, I have someone about to reveal a secret to you. Okay, this could even be a secret crush. For some of you guys, this is a family secret. Some of you guys, this is um some some about somebody who's gonna reveal their true intentions or emotions toward, towards you. This could actually be I'm getting love though. Like somebody's gonna reveal that they have a crush on you or something like that. Or your soulmate is about to be revealed to you, okay, within two months. Okay, that's for some of you guys. Uh glamour spells could be significant. Somebody could be trying to do like glamour spells on you, or you learning how to do beauty spells on yourself. Okay, you learn how to enhance your beauty. Okay. I'm also confirmation. <laughs> I'm also getting glamorous life. You're about to live a glamorous life. That's where that soft girl era come from. Some of you guys are about to live a life of love. You're just gonna be basked with love. All right. In your love life, your business, all areas, your social life. Um just your self-love because you loving on yourself is attracting nothing but love this is what you've been manifesting because you've been showing the universe like i love myself i love myself i love myself and i feel like the enemy is trying to get you to feel insecure or something like that y'all why y'all didn't tell me my chain was all the way over there like <laughs> oh my goodness you see what i mean the enemy got me discombobulated they do not want me to tell y'all this reading <laughs> But, um, how did I not notice that? Okay, so something is an illusion, y'all. Okay, don't be scared. Something is an illusion. They just want you to conform to whatever they want you to conform to because they want to control your mind and your life. But you're breaking free from some type of conformity. Okay, because you're basking in love. You're, you're allowing your heart to follow. Okay, you're following your heart. Okay, and not your mind. Or that's what you need to do. You need to follow your heart at this time in something. Like, go dive deep in some of you guys want to leave a job situation some of you guys want like to stop working at a certain place or something and i feel like this is a perfect time to like let that shit go you guys could have like a criminal record or something or somebody has a criminal record i feel like that's going to be cleared or something's going to be cleared or court is going to be cleared okay I feel like you're about to get a clean record or a clean slate in life. Or you already received a clean slate, but you was in hermit mode or something was on hold for you because spirit needed you to clear up some things and you already cleared it up. Like I said, you're about to step into a new beginning and the enemy is like, no, no, my plan did not work. It's something like that here, okay? You're about to be free from some type of guilt, some type of revenge or blame, or this is what you had to work on. This is why you were in hermit mode, to be free from some guilt, blame, and revenge, okay? Um, Akashic record being returned or restored to you, okay? Because somebody could have stole your memories. Someone could have stole who you were, stole your identity. Somebody could have actually stolen like, your actual identity. That's why I said some of you guys, your credit could be going up because something's being cleared off your record, okay? Whether it's criminal or credit score. Okay, I also have buck teeth, braces. Okay, so you could be getting braces or somebody made fun of you about your teeth when you were growing up as a child. You could be a cancer. Okay, or something about your moon or you cleansing out some type of insecurity. And now you're like really fully embracing all your flaws and all and you are turning into something beautiful or inspirational to others. Okay, you're not allowing your flaws to define you. Okay, you own it. You're owning something. I'm also getting you're owning what you're going through. You're not letting it define you. You're controlling it. You're not letting life control you. Okay, so that's really good. So my birthday could be November the 20th or November the 11th or 11-11 or 11-20. could be very significant or check your camera roll. Okay, you could be living like a holistic living. Okay, or you like, you're cutting back on like harsh chemicals. Okay, something like that. 
I also have healing body. Okay, so you're healing your entire body. Some of you guys are doing like a colon colonoscopy <laughs> or a colon cleanse, or you need to do one. Okay. I also have walrus. You, you are a keeper of ancient knowledge and wisdom. That's where that Akasha record is coming from. You're going to have a lot of ancient knowledge and wisdom. Or this is something you had to um, regain. Something like that. I really feel like some of the stuff I'm saying already came to pass for some of you guys. And you're just about to enter a new beginning. And I feel like, like I said, the enemy has you thinking that you have not accomplished or learned anything in life. And it's not true. Okay. So, I really feel like somebody needs to hear that. Like... You have learned what you needed to learn, okay? <sighs> yeah, you're going through a status elevation. Your ancestors are um, becoming high ranked, okay? Or they already was high ranked or they're becoming higher ranked, something like that. Or you're you're becoming more close to them. It's more of a deep connection, an intimate connection with your um, divine family, okay? Your solar family. Something about solar. So something about when you're in the sun, sun god, right? You could be an Egyptian bloodline or... Um, you're connected to the sun. You're a sun goddess or god, okay? Something like that here. Um, I have uh, resting a lot, rebirth, coming out of some hypnosis. Something about snapping, okay? Somebody has you in a hypnosis or you was in like some type of brainwash energy. You are cleansed from that. Um, you're passing a torch to your children or to your loved ones because you self-mastered. So maybe your children or your loved ones has been watching you. You become an example to them. And... Um, they are following your footsteps okay they've been watching in silence even if they have not been like praising you or something you don't need that you don't need that validation because the spirit is validating you or you're validating yourself or you're walking like you're talking okay <laughs> um you could be breaking some generational curse linked to your mother okay you're coming out of your mother ways okay something like that something you learn from your mother you're not doing that you're doing the opposite especially when it comes to parenthood okay even mannerism I had somebody is going to melt your heart. <sighs> somebody has a key to your heart. All right. Somebody has a key to your heart. Somebody's going to melt your heart. This is why you're not really feeling anybody at this time. Because you 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 feel somebody. Somebody specific is coming in. Um, I have indigestion. Body rejection of food. And spell work doesn't work. So you could be like your body is rejecting certain types of foods because um, your body is going through like a spiritual ascension. And like I said, you're about to go to a new beginning. So the way you think, the way you eat and stuff like that is changing. All right. So you could be up all night or somebody's up all night crying. Somebody could have rabies. Somebody about a raccoon or somebody has dark circles. I'm also getting like somebody could be trying to spread some disease. Or somebody spreading disease. <laughs> I don't know. And I have ginger shots and ginger, okay? If somebody has ginger hair or you incorporate in ginger, you need to add ginger tea to your um, diet, okay? Something about immune system. Your immune system is improving. I really feel like you needed to hear this because this is the stuff you're about to enter into a new beginning, okay? Yeah, the justice is the truth. Somebody could be a Libra. Something about self-love. I told you, self-love is... The, changing okay you're learning how to love yourself and how to love others how to communicate with others i'm also getting uh something about a contract has been broken here some type of hardship is over you're fully in your power because you did the work you did the inner work so now you have your power back and you're protected your your spiritual protection has gone up yeah the devil lose you, you the devil can't control you and I really feel like the devil is mad. Yeah, the manipulation, the magic is all over the strength because you became stronger than the manipulation and the magic. Yeah, the king of pentacles. There's a divine masculine about to come into your life and make you feel good. All I want to know. You could be questioning, like, where is the good men and the good women at? And right around the corner, you better find the one for you. Yeah, the tower here. Some, some spell has been broken, some type of hypnosis state, some type of confusion. Is being broken and also some type of stagnancy is being broken from your life here. You're about to move forward. Things are about to accelerate for you. Okay. You're about to hear some good news here. But I do feel like there is a woman who could be revealing some, some information to you. There may be a woman that's coming in. Yeah. Somebody's coming to travel to you for some information they need to tell you. Six of Pentacles. This could also have attached with some money. All right. Some money's going to be attached to it. Or you're being given something so you can get out of a stuck energy, okay? Yeah, three of swords. What's this three of swords? Oh, they knocked that out of my hand. What is that? Somebody's sad. Who's sad? 
I don't know, somebody's sad because you're independent, you're single, you got it going on. I don't know, like somebody does not want you to have it going. You got it going on, all right? And you walked away from somebody, somebody who can't block you no more. Somebody who's trying to block your path that can't do it no more because you are healed. And now things are about to get smooth for you. Whatever they were trying to do in secret is being exposed, yeah. I'm also getting somebody's coming towards you with a love offer. Yeah. Yeah, some hardship is over. So get ready for that. Um, yeah, hardships is over. That's what I'm getting. I keep hearing that. Yeah, four of pentacles. You about to inherit some money. Yeah, five of pentacles. Especially if you've been lacking. Get ready to inherit some money because you're walking away from some type of insecurities. You're no longer insecure and brainwashed. Okay, so something about longevity. All right, you about to live a long happy fulfilling abundant life not just materially but just spiritually physically all that because some of you guys are really getting your health together some of you guys are getting your minds right or you have gotten your mind right and now everything is being um manifested in material because you did the inner work so get ready for this love you guys